Welcome to The Funny Carpenter. Today's video, very exciting. We're gonna be doing some extreme durability tests on the three most common types of flooring out there. So the three floors that we're looking at here today, we've got a waterproof vinyl plank from the Home Depot, and this stuff is 328 a square foot. Next up, we've got a laminate floor from the Home Depot. This is the cheapest floor out of the three, and it is 248 per square foot. And then finally, we've got the engineered hardwood the most expensive flooring out of the three, and that runs 398 per square foot. We're gonna be dragging chairs, dropping pans, sliding heavy furniture across the floor. We're gonna be letting my dog do insane burnouts across here. And finally, we're gonna be fumbling giant kitchen knives onto these floors and see how they stand up. Let's get testing, but before we do, if you're not already subscribed, you may wanna consider it. I've got some great videos coming up about the best way to repair these floors after they get damaged. And then we'll have a look at what happens when water gets on these things. So the first test we're gonna look at here is the sliding chair test. Cause inevitably what always happens with chairs is the little felt pads will fall off. And then all of a sudden you'll have a chair with no felt pad and it will just be sliding across the floor. So let's see what that would do to these three types of floors. So after that chair test, I'm not really seeing any damage on any three of the floors, which is a bit surprising. I thought the engineered hardwood would have got damaged, especially being a darker color. So that's pretty impressive for all three of them. Next up, the frying pan drop test. We'll drop this frying pan from about 10 feet. No, 10 feet. We'll drop this 10 inch frying pan from about 40 inches, roughly countertop height, and we'll see what happens. So checking out the floors after the frying pan drop test. The vinyl plank, I don't see any kind of damage whatsoever. The laminate, I mean, there's nothing. A couple spots on the engineered hardwood of dents where the edge of the pan knocked into it. So these two are 100% and there's a, some minor denting on the engineered hardwood. And the next challenge we have, the heavy furniture challenge. We're gonna take this refrigerator and we'll slide it back and forth a number of times on these three floors and we'll see what it does. Yeah, so after doing the fridge test, I mean, I can't see anything on the, on the vinyl plank flooring. I was twisting it on there and there's nothing. So that's awesome. The laminate, I'm not noticing anything on this edge, but on this part here, there's one little scratch here. I think where I was twisting the fridge on there. And then over on the engineered hardwood, that took a beating. <laughs> it got pretty gouged up when I jumped the fridge onto it. And then there's compression scratches all the way along here. And yeah, there's all kinds of scratches on here. So this did not really stand up well to a fridge sliding across it, which I didn't think it would, but I am pretty impressed with the laminate and the vinyl plank. Challenge number four, the dog burnout test. This is Willie, he'll be assisting us here. Willie, you wanna go get it? Ready? Go get it. Drop. Go get it. So from the dog challenge, on the vinyl plank, I'm not seeing anything. You cannot find any kind of imperfection. On the laminates, I am picking up a couple of small, tiny little scratches. I'm seeing a tiny little scuff over here. It looks like a little chip out of one spot. Um, not bad at all. On the engineered hardwood, I'm starting to find all kinds of scratches. If you catch it in the right light, you're noticing you could definitely pick up some scratches from the dog running around there. Only a lot of little scratches from the dog running across here. So the next challenge we got is the kitchen knife fumble. <laughs> now I'm gonna be careful not to bounce this thing into my foot, but what I'm gonna do is drop this thing from about five feet and I'll drop it on each one of the floors about five times. We'll do various kinds of drops, like a horizontal drop. And I'll do some tip down drops. Now I'm pretty sure that all the floors are gonna take some damage. So it'll be interesting to see if the vinyl plank will take its first casualty.
Yeah, so the results of the knife drop test has definitely produced some carnage. So over on the engineered hardwood, it's taken some serious blows when the, when the knife landed tip down. One here dug a whole chunk out. So another big gouge there, another gouge there. This piece here is not looking great. It's kind of split the wood and separated it all along here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all kind of blistered up along here. Yeah, you can see some of where like the hosel impacted there. Moving over under the laminate here, it's not looking great either. When the knife was landing tip down, it was just gouging chunks out like crazy and they don't look great. This one's all blistered up. This one has a big little chunk missing out of the side. In terms of the sideways impacts, it doesn't look like the knife was doing a ton of damage when it wasn't landing tip down. And then over on the vinyl plank, yeah, when the knife was landing tip down, you can see there's a little slit, a little slit there, a little slit there. I mean, all in all, it did stand up the best. And if you take that, you see that? I just pushed that back together and it's, it's almost like it's not there. Another little slit here. You could probably just push that one back together too. Definitely makes it better. On the laminate here, I mean, chunks have just blown apart. Yeah, so overall, the vinyl plank is amazing. It's definitely the most durable of the three. Um, the engineered hardwood was slightly more durable than I expected, but it got beat to hell. Um, yeah, the fridge destroyed it. The dog put scratches in it. The pan made compression dings all over it. And the knife just went to town on this thing. <laughs> the laminate was quite durable. It barely showed any scratches up until the knife test. It had a couple scratches from the fridge and the dog. And then the knife did take some pretty decent chunks out of it. And then yeah, for the vinyl plank, this stuff is pretty amazing. Even when the knife did stab into it, I mean, it's barely noticeable from a distance. So that's pretty impressive. Now this is a floor that I actually have installed in my basement and I've had it in the laundry room for over a year. And I've recently just put it throughout the entire basement. And yeah, I've been super happy with it. If you're at all interested in this vinyl plank floor, check out the channel. I've got a couple videos on there about installing it and as well as kind of preparing. If you're putting it in your basement, you might need to do some patching on the concrete. So check that out if you're into it. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you on the next video.